Drone operators of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 14th Separate Regiment have destroyed Russia's Zupark, one counterbattery radar system worth 25 million US dollars. The crew members of the radar system were also killed during the attack. The video showing the destruction of Zupark, one has been published by Ukrainian telegram channels. The destruction of this complex significantly weakens Russia's ability to conduct counterbattery warfare and protects our units from artillery shelling. The forces of unmanned systems show their prowess and technological advantage, one of telegram channels wrote. Developed by the Soviet Armed Forces, Zupark, one is a mobile active electronically scanned array radar. It's designed for reconnaissance and fire detection of ground artillery systems. It's unknown where Zupark-1 was struck. It should be recalled that Ukraine on Saturday struck Russian Black Sea Fleet submarine worth $300 million in Crimea Sevastopol port city. On the same day, Ukraine damaged Russia's S-400 air defense system. In Russia, the former deputy commander for logistics of the 144th Motorized Rifle Division of the 20th Combined Arms Army of the Moscow Military District, Colonel Dmitry Peskov, was arrested. He was accused of stealing food rations, although the soldier himself did not admit his guilt. ISW analysts are convinced that this incident is part of a targeted effort by the Kremlin to eliminate high-ranking officials from the Ministry of Defense. According to experts, this may, in fact, be a punishment for commanders for the failures of their units or to keep loyal and obedient officers in the ranks of the occupation army. It is noted that units of the 144th Motorized Rifle Division are conducting offensive operations in the area of the settlements of Terny and Nevskoy in the Luhansk region with limited success. At the same time, they recently lost some territory due to limited counterattacks by the armed forces of Ukraine in this area. As is known, after the resignation of Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, high-profile arrests of high-ranking military personnel took place in Russia. In particular, the former deputy head of the Ministry of Defense, Timur Ivanov, the head of the main personnel department of the Ministry of Defense, Yuri Kuznetsov, the head of the main communications department of the Ministry of Defense, Vadim Shamarin, and the former commander of the 58th Army, Ivan Popov, were detained. Recently, former Deputy Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation Dmitry Bulgakov was arrested in a corruption case. The Russian Investigative Committee stated that the General Dmitry Bulgakov had been taken into custody. A criminal case of a corruption nature is being investigated within the framework of which Dmitry Bulgakov, who held the post of Deputy Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation from 2008 to 2022, has been chosen as a preventive measure in the form of detention. The necessary investigative actions are being carried out with the defendant, the statement said. The Crimean Bridge may be destroyed in the coming months and work is underway to do so. This was reported on air by Kirill Budinov, head of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense. Everyone is working on long-range strikes and destruction of the Kirsch Bridge. This all requires, let's say, a comprehensive solution. The work is underway, he said. When asked whether the Crimean Bridge could disappear in the next few months, the head of the main intelligence directorate assured that there is a chance. As reported in July, Russian occupation forces pulled about 30 barges under the illegally built Crimean Bridge to protect it from a possible attack by sea drones. The corresponding photos appeared online. According to the representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense, Yevgeny Yerin, Ukraine could hypothetically use Magura sea drones to strike the Crimean Bridge. But according to him, this would be a comprehensive solution that is, such an attack would not be limited to the use of sea drones alone. At the same time, work is currently underway to improve the Ukrainian Magura surface drones, in particular in terms of range. The bridge was heavily damaged by Ukrainian strikes in October 2022 and July 2023, prompting Russia to take steps to further defend the structure. A floating construction crane reportedly was spotted in the Kirsch Strait last month, and the number of barges to protect the bridge from Ukrainian naval drones has increased. 
Russian proxy authorities in occupied Crimea regularly shut down traffic on the bridge amid reports of explosions and drone strikes. Ukraine's navy said in June that destroying the Kirsch Bridge in occupied Crimea would not have the same effect now because Russia barely uses it for military purposes anymore. Vasil Maliuk, head of the security service of Ukraine, did not rule out that Russia may try to use the structure for weapons supplies again after it is fully restored.